Okay, let's begin. Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Good evening to this, your English class. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to keep working on this thing that is called section number one. It's a very excited place. We're going to have modal verbs. With can and should today. This is pre intermediate English module number three, and this is class number two. So, welcome, uh, Janessi, Claudia, is Sandra. Good evening. It's nice to have you, Elisa, Jorge, Juan, and Daniela. Welcome, Joel. Thank you so much for being here on time. And this is um, the thing we're going to have today. Okay, don't forget that for this week, we have two sections, which is section one and section two. Okay, so uh, thank you so much, Joel, for being here. Okay, uh, thank you. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's begin. Um, one more time, modal verbs with can and should. That's the one we're going to practice today. Um, okay, Sandra, thank you so much for letting me know. Welcome, and it's nice to have you. Good evening. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, welcome, welcome. Yo, just let me move this one here. So then we can start. Oh, I don't have it. Okay. Just give me a minute. Uh -huh. Okay. We thought I got the attendance, but I don't have it ready. Just give me a minute. So I can have it. Welcome. It's nice to have you. One more time. Hello. Good evening. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? I'm fine. Awesome. It's good. How's the weather over there? It's still raining. For me, it's great. <laughs> it is perfect. <laughs> uh, we don't have this one somehow, right? So just enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, that's good. Yeah. So we can have... Uh, hot drinks right that in this kind of weather yes. um, which is yes. good yeah so here is where we have these hot drinks that we can enjoy that in this weather it's, it's not like the whole year no a few days right it's a season exactly it's, it's, i think like days because the entire year is is pretty warm currently only for a few days Yes, that's true. <laughs> so we got to enjoy it. We got to enjoy it. Okay, yes. so one more time. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. We're going to have modal verbs with can and should on this class, which is number two. Okay. First of all, we're going to have a, this thing, which is six world famous landmarks. Thank you so much, Claudia. Do me a favor and read the places that you see here in this picture. Okay. Number one, the Grand Canyon, Arizona, USA. Number two, the Louvre, the Louvre, Paris, France. Number three, the Pyramids, Giza, Egypt. Number four, the Colosseum, Rome, Italy. Number five, Sugarloaf Mountain. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And number six, Taj Mahal, Agra, India. Thank you so much for reading those. Okay, we have Rio de Janeiro, Bongia. That's a good place, right? Mirna, hello, Mirna. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Are you ready? Yes. Oh, that's good. Question for you, this one here. Which places would you like to visit? 
Arizona, the Grand Canyon. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, Freddy, question for you. Put the places, put the places, right, you would like to visit in order from most interesting, which is number one, and least interesting, which is number six. Okay. Um, I will visit uh, maybe the pyramids. This is Oh, the pyramid. Mm -hmm. So this is number one. So which one is number two for you? Uh -huh. Number number one for me. Okay. So mm -hmm. what is what is number two for you? Uh, the Coliseum Roma, Italy. Oh, uh, Coliseum. I think Roma. maybe okay. place interesting. Oh, so that's number two. And which one is number two for you? Mm -hmm. It's number two for me. And, and which one is number three for you? Uh, uh, maybe the Louvre, Paris, Paris, France. Oh, France. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. France. Mm -hmm. and, and what about the number four? Which one is the number four for you? Um, and maybe the Grand Canyon, Arizona, US. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. The number yes. five? The number, number five for five. you? Uh, number five is number five. <laughs> oh, because Brazil. Because the of Brazil. And number six uh -huh. is India, right? Jogo, yeah. Jogo Bonito. Oh, exactly. <laughs> bon dia. That's the only thing I know from Brazil. Bon dia. <laughs> Bo Boa noite. <laughs> They said Joy Dara. Okay. I don't, I don't talk a lot about it. Bon dia. Bon dia. Yes. Boa tarde. Boa noite. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Okay. Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Thank you. Question for you this one. Which interesting places around your country, which is El Salvador, right? Or the world, have you already visited? Um, I don't understand. Oh, tell me the places that you visited, like here in El Salvador or in another country that you have yeah. visited. Uh, no, no sé. Es okay. como lo que quiero visitar. Oh, no, the, the ones that you visited already. Los que ya fue, right? Yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yep. The Coliseum Romano, Italy. Oh, Jesus. That's the, amazing. The Louvre de Paris. Oh, that's good. That's good. Thank you. But what, what, about, what about here in El Salvador? What are those places? Mm. No, I can't. In El Salvador, what are some of those places that you already uh, visited? Los que ya visitó here in El Salvador, what are those places? Uh, pero si ahí no hay ninguno de El Salvador, no sé. No, you, you tell me. You tell me. Yeah. Um, um, I like the room or the, the las montañas. Oh, Entonces, like, like El Cerro Verde, right? Here in El Salvador? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, what about de... volcanoes? Santa Ana um, volcano. Yeah, yeah. Chaparrastique. El Chinchontepec eh, is Chavo. another one, right? No, Chinchontepec, no. Oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> what about Chisporrotea and Los Yunques? What, what about that? No? Okay, that's something mm -hmm. else. I'm sorry. Thank you so much, okay? Nice job. Very okay. good. Thank you so much. Janesi, hello. Good evening. Okay. It's good nice evening. to have you. Do me a favor, Janesi. I have these questions. Please read these questions. Thank you so much. Um, what city is it is? What the mission of anthropology like? What are the Diego Rivera murals like? How many kinds of street food does Claudia recommend? Thank you so much. Very good, Janessi. So I'm going to play the audio for these questions 
And what I need you to do is try to answer the question based on what you hear, okay? Do you, do you understand? Thank you so much, Freddy. That's very nice of you. Also, Liliana, I got you. So do you understand, Ana Cristina? Do you understand? I will play the audio, Ana, so you can answer this question. Yes? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Do you understand? What are you going to do? I will I will play the audio, play the audio, and you, all of you, try to answer these four questions, okay, from the audio. Do you understand? From the that? audio, oh, okay. The Very audio, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So I will play the audio, and you listen and answer the question. What is city, is it? What's the Museum of Anthropology like? What are the Diego Rivera murals like? And how many kinds of street food does Claudia recommend? So let's listen and answer. Page 75, exercise seven, conversation. What should I do there? Part A, listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay. It's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the Historic Center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit, it's all delicious. Yes, Anna? Yes? Or one more time? Sí. Yes, or one more time yeah, now? Okay. Ready? Or one okay. more time? Okay. Uh, question number one, Anna. Which, what city is it? Uh, one more time, audio. Oh, very good. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much. Page 75, exercise 7. Conversation. What should I do there? Part A. Listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay. It's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the Historic Center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit, it's all delicious. Mm -hmm. So, Anna, what's the city? What city oh. is it? Okay, it's the Mexico City. Beautiful. Very good, Ana. Thank you so much. Great job. Question number two is for you, Jose Mauricio. Thank you so much. Okay. What's the Museum of Anthropology like? She said that it's amazing. That's and true. nothing more. That's correct. Thank you so much. Kevin Eduardo, number three is for you. Thank you. Uh, I don't know in the number three t-shirt. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay. We will help you. Ronald, can you help him, please? Thank you. Number three. Yes. I don't know t-shirt. That's okay. I listen. I don't listen to the, the, the audio, please. Oh, no problem. Okay. Somebody, somebody wants to say number three. 
He said that the Diego Rivera murals like incredible. Incredible. That is correct. Thank you so much. And Freddie, number four is for you, Freddie. About that food. Taco barbecue after are delicious. Yes, how many? How many? Uh, One, two, or three? Uh, two. Oh, Jesus, we have three. Three, okay? Uh, three. Oh, okay. Yeah, three. Very good. Okay, no problem. Page seven. Now we're going to have this conversation. Okay, it's the one that we are talking about here. Jason and Claudia. Okay, what do you see here? Claudia, I'm sorry for that. Okay, <laughs> tell me, what do you see in these two pictures? Describe those, please. Me? Yes, you, Claudia. Okay, in the National Museum of Anthropology. Wait, let me see. Um, There is a, can a canyon, right? It looks like that. There is a canyon in front of a kind of lake and some uh, little trees, I guess. Yeah, that's true. What about the, the other one? And the other one, Diego Rivera murals look like... Um, like murals. Vitrales. Right? I don't know how to say vitrales in English. Like murals, right? Like murals, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Very good, Claudia. Okay, so the question here is, what should I do? What should I do? Okay, so I'm going to play the audio so you can listen this conversation, check pronunciation and read. And if you have any question, we will um, have the note when I finish playing the audio. So let's listen and read. Page 75, exercise 7, conversation. What should I do there? Part A. Listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay. It's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the historic center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit, it's all delicious. Yes, fruit is delicious. Yeah, everybody loves fruit. Okay. Uh, any question about this conversation? No? Question for you. What is this conversation about? Mm -hmm. What are they talking about in this conversation? Oh? It's about a trouble? Exactly, right? Yeah, exactly. It is about a travel, right? Places you can visit. In... And what's recommendation. The, what's... Exactly, suggestions, right? Recommendations that that we can okay. have when we, visit. when we visit a place. Yeah, in this case, Mexico. Uh, Mexico is big. It's big and also it's an amazing country. Okay, I'm going to open the breakout rooms for a few minutes so you can practice this conversation. Yes, so um, what I want you to do is please save it. Okay, save it. Uh, and if somebody can send this picture on WhatsApp group, that would be good. Yes. Save the conversation. I'm going to open the breakout room so you can practice with your partners. When you get into the breakout rooms, as you may know, practice. Practice and listen your classmates' pronunciation, right? And if you practice once and then you still have a little bit of time available, please redo it. You know what I mean? Practice one more time so you can uh, take advantage of this time. Okay? Yes? Maria Vilma, okay. do you do you understand, Maria Vilma? What are we going to do? Hello? Do you, do you understand what are we going to do? 
Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid, Maria Vino, right? Remember, this is, we are learning here. Sí, así que si no entiende algo, dígamelo así. No, no, mister, I'm sorry. No le entendí. Explain, right? Explain. Con gusto, I explain to you. That's no problem, okay? Pero sí necesito que me lo diga, right? Tell me. Yes. Do you, do you understand what are we going to do? Yes or no? No, or so you can write in the chat if you can say, no, I'm sorry. Um, okay, you can write in the chat. When you do not understand something, you can write in the chat so I can have it. One more time, save, say the picture uh, with like where you have the conversation so you can practice in the breakout rooms. I'm going to open the breakout rooms for a few minutes so you can practice with your classmates uh, this conversation, okay? Um, let me see. Okay, here we go. In the main room, I will have a few of you. In the main room, please stay uh, Christian David Galicia, Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro, Milena de Los Angeles Aragón Pleites, and Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa. You four stay here in the main room. Christian David, Jorge Mauricio, Milena de Los Angeles and Jenny Lisbeth. The rest of you, please join the breakout rooms so you can practice the conversation. Okay? Yes? Here we go. Yes. Perfect. There you have the invitation so you can um, get into the breakout rooms and practice the conversation. Yes? So please, uh, Briseida, um, Kevin, uh, Elisa, please join you the breakout room. Okay, very good. Orco, Ronald, please, and Freddy, join the breakout rooms. Oh, very good. Okay, so the ones that stay here in the main room, and I need you to practice the conversation. No, Christian, get back. <laughs> Christian went into the breakout room. Okay. So for the ones that stay here, please join. Uh, let's practice. Uh, let me show you really quick. Here we have the conversation so you can practice with your classmates. Take terms, okay? Christian and Jorge. Hello, Christian. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Nice to have you. Welcome. Uh, and, and Jorge. Jorge, are you there? Yes. Oh. Please, the, the two of you, please. Uh, Christian, you are uh, Jason, and Jorge, you are Claudia, and then you change roles. Ready? Let's begin. Can you tell me, uh, dear, about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I... Well, I am going to be there for a few days. New mom, what should I do there? Oh, you should definitely definitive visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? You should miss the Diego Rivera murals. They are incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the historic center. That's so perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? I eat. You can miss the street food, the tacos, barbecue, Fruit, it's all delicious. Now change roles, please. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Seguimos, bro. Cambiamos. Yes. Sure. But what would you like to know? 
Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, oh you should definitely tell visit the National mm, Museum of Anthropology. Anthropology it's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? Mm, you you Sheldon Miss De Diego Rivera Morals they they are incredible. Oh and you can go well around this historic center. That's all perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can miss mm, the three full the tacos mm, barbecue fruits. It's all delicious. Thank you so much. Very good. We have a few mistakes in pronunciation. You will you will listen one more time the audio so you can figure it out. What are those? Okay, but you did it very good. Thank you so much. Uh, for example, the one that pops a lot is definitely, 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 right? Jenny, Briseida, and Milena. Hello, Briseida. Can you participate? Yes or no? Okay. No, Briseida is just, let me see. No, okay. Uh, what about you, Jenny? Can you participate? Uh, I'm um, sorry. Jenny? Jenny? Uh, can sit? Excuse can me? You, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Okay, continue, please. Just you. Just you, Jenny, okay? Okay. So, what... Would you like to know where I'm going to be there for a few days next month? What all I do there? Or you told them the dental visit the National Museum of Anthropology is amazing. Okay, it's on my list, not anything else. You told me the Diego Rivera Morales, they're incredible. Or oh, in you can work around the historic center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What all I eat? You can meet the street food, the tacos, barbecues, fruit, it's all delicious. Well, thank you so much, Jenny. You have you have a few mistakes, Jenny, on pronunciation. Okay. Uh, and with practice, we can overcome those for sure. Okay. So I will play one more time the audio so you can listen. And also, you have the chance to uh, check pronunciation as well. Okay, yes. So this is about listening and repeating. Listening and repeating. Okay. The more you repeat the things, well, that's better for you. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, great job. Thank you so much. Okay. So, uh, the rest of your classmates are here. Thank you so much for uh joining this class one more time. Welcome. Okay. It's nice to have you. I'm going to play the audio again so you can check pronunciation. All right. And uh, um, thank you so much for participating in the breakout rooms, okay? So let's listen and read, and also let's check pronunciation at home. Page 75, exercise seven, conversation. What should I do there? Part A, listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? 
Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the historic center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit, it's all delicious. All oh, delicious, exactly. With a bunch of lemon. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance, so please... Do me a favor when you hear your beautiful name, say present or I'm here. Yep. Let's begin. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. Blanca Isolina Guzman Cruz. Hello, Blanca. Are you here? No, she isn't. Okay, let me double check really quick. No, she is not. Okay. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin. Thank you so much for being here. Cindy Stephanie Hello, Ramirez sir. Rodriguez. Hello, Cindy. Present. Thank Present. you, Cindy. It's nice to have you one more time. Good evening. Welcome. Um, next one, Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here. Thank you so much for being here. Christian David Galicia Ramirez. Thank Present you so much, teacher. and welcome, Thank Christian. You. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Resinos. I'm here. Thank you so much, and good evening, Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Nice to have you. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, and welcome, Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Present teacher. Good evening. It's nice to have you, Freddy Alberto Pascarillo. Yeah. Welcome, gentlemen. Nice to have you. Iliana Mariel Alvarado Mengibar. Iliana, are you here? Let me see. No, she isn't. Okay. Uh, what about Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo? Present. Welcome. Nice to have you. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Present, teacher. Good evening and welcome. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present. Gentlemen, it's nice to have you. Welcome. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Excuse me. Jose Alcides, are you here? Present. Thank you so much. I'm nice here. to have you. Good evening. Welcome. Jose Mauricio Martinez Arabia. Present. Nice to have you and welcome. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Present, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you, gentlemen. Good evening. Kevin Eduardo Flores Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juarez. Thank you Present, so much. Teacher. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Hello, Luis. Are you here? Let me double check. Is Luis is here? No, he isn't. Okay. Um, what about Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera? Good evening, teacher. Thank you, Marcos. Nice to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Maria yeah. Vilma Cortez Rivas. Maria Vilma. Hello, Maria Vilma. Are you here? Let me double check here. Uh, Maria. Oh, she's here, but she doesn't answer. Probably she's busy. Thank you so much. Milena de Los Angeles, Aragón, Pleites. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Mirna del Camper, del Carmen, Ruano Reyes. Present. Thank you so much, Mirna, and welcome. Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Ronald. Good evening. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Alvarez. I think Sandra wrote in the chat. Let me check really quick. Yes, Sandra, thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Uh, Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Thank you so much for being here. And also Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Thank you so much for being in here. Um, okay. 
I'm gonna play one more time the audio and I will have a few participation on this one. So let's listen. Good evening, teacher. Uh, my name is Carlo Castro. I'm present. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome. Good evening. Nice to have you. Now, any exercise seven, conversation. What should I do there? Part A, listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay. It's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the historic center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit, it's all delicious. Evers Perdomo, you are Jason. Jose Alcides Leiva, Ibarra, you are Claudia. Ready? Okay. Jose Alcides? Jose, okay. Okay, ready. Perfect. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? You show me the Diego Rivera murals. They are incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the historic center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food the tacos, barbecue, fruit, it's all delicious. Thank you so much. A few little mistakes, but wonderful. I love it. Thank you so much. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez. No, okay. Maria Vilma Escobar, Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Maria Vilma Cortez. No, okay. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. No, okay. Sandra Noemi Pimentel. Thank you, Sandra. You are Jason. And Jacqueline Vanessa, you are Claudia Jacqueline. Ready? Let's begin. Sandra? Excuse me, I don't I don't hear you very well. Can you like get your microphone close to your your mouth a little bit? Oh no, I'm sorry, I don't hear you. Thank you so much. Creo que ella dijo que iba a estar solo de oyente este día. Oh Jesus. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Maria Vila. Okay, so Maria and, and Marcos, okay? Um, no, what's in me? Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, I did a mistake. Thank you, because you did an answer. Okay, Jacqueline and Maria Vilma, okay? Okay. Thank you, please. Okay, Jacqueline, please begin, thank you. Okay, so... Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? 
Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you shall definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology in Amazon. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? You shall miss the Diego Rivera morals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the history center. Okay. Um, that sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can miss the street food, the tacos, barbecue, fruit. It's I delicious. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, we need practice, Maria Vilma, on pronunciation, right? You did it good, but we need practice. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to have Marcos. Thank you, Marcos. And Kevin, Eduardo. Kevin, you're Jason, and, and Marcos, you are Claudia. Ready? Let's begin. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay. It's on my lips now. Anything else? You show me the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the historic center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't uh, miss the street food, the tacos, barbecue, fruit. It's all delicious. Thank you so much, the two of you. Very good. Beautiful. I love it. Thank you. Jose Mauricio, you're Jason. Daniela, you're Claudia. Please, go ahead. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay. It's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the historic center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit. It's all delicious. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to move on to the next exercise, which is a Page listening 70. exercise, which is this one. And we're going to have the rest of the conversation. What is Jason? I'm sorry, where is Jason from? What should you do there? Okay, so I will play the rest of the audio so you can answer these uh, two questions. Okay, so let's listen and answer. Page 75. Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where is Jason from? What should you do there? Where are you from again, Jason? I'm from Montreal, Canada. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. What's it like? What can you do there? Well, there's a lot to do. Visitors should definitely plan to spend a day visiting museums. At Space for Life, you can learn a lot about nature and the world. Page 75, Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where is Jason from? What should you do there? Where are you from again, Jason? I'm from Montreal, Canada. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. What's it like? 
What can you do there? Well, there's a lot to do. Visitors should definitely plan to spend a day visiting museums. At Space for Life, you can learn a lot about nature and the world. Okay, Mirna. Tell me, Mirna. Question number one. Hello. And he's from he's from Montreal, Canada. Thank you so much. Wonderful. That's correct. Freddy, the next one is for you. Um, um Jay, uh, Jason. Jason visit a plant or new museum. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So what is the name? What is the name of this museum, let's say? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Somebody? National Anthropology. Oh, yes. Exactly. Exactly. And what is like the name of this, let's say, event? What's the name of the event they, they are having there? Sometimes in museums, they call an event with a specific name. What is that name? Claudia, do you remember that? Um, I don't, I'm not sure if the event is about the nature. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> somehow, yes. Somehow, yes. Okay. okay. It is called a space for life. Okay. That's the name of it. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. We're going to have the, 70. the grammar part, can and should. I will play the video so you can take a look at what is this thing about, and then we can practice a little bit with some exercise. So let's listen and watch. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called model verbs. Model verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus modal verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus verb, plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject, plus modal verb, plus not, plus verb, plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go. You there was a background sound. On that video, I heard a bird singing. I thought like it was my, <laughs> but then I was paying attention. There was a background sound, like a bird was singing. Okay, forget about it. Okay, modal verbs can and should. This is the way we use them. It's, it's not something like like quite difficult, as you may see. Yes, Um. what can I do in Mexico City and what should I see? Yes, um, you can use this buffer of them when you want to give suggestions or when you want to recommend something, yeah, to somebody. You can use buffer of them, right? Um, and well, 
These ones are quite simple because you don't need to have another rule. The only thing you need to use is like should or can, can't or shouldn't, right? And then the verb in infinitive. You don't need to do anything else with the verb. And then a complement that goes related with the things that you want to communicate, okay? Let's have some practice in some of these ones. We're going to have Claudia. Sorry, you got the first one. Page 70. You. Okay. We have can, can't, should, or shouldn't. Letter A is for you, Claudia. Please, go ahead. I can't decide where to go on vacation. Can I go to Costa Rica or Hawaii? Continue. Yeah, because I'm thinking, I mean, it is, it is, I think it's like. Or should, should I go to Costa Rica or Hawaii? Exactly. Should I go to Costa Rica or Hawaii? Yes. So uh, we are not going to use can in this one, as you may know, uh, because here you are like asking, right? Should I go? Okay. I know that if you say, oh, can I go, right? But that's that's something else. It's like you're asking for permission. But this one is you're asking for a suggestion, right? Mm -hmm. So here you have these two options. And you are deciding whether to go to this one or um, to go to uh, Hawaii. Oh, I wish I could have this one, right? Yeah. <laughs> so pick between two countries. Thank you. Uh, Kevin, next one is for you. Let it be. Um, you can definitely visit Costa Rica. I'm sorry, but um, should be should, okay. You should definitely visit Costa Rica. Oh, thank you so much. Very good, Ana Cristina. Really. What can I see there? Well, San Jose is an exciting city. You miss the museum. Uh, oh, Museo del Loro. Look at this one. Can, you can miss the Museo del Oro. That's the gold museum. And you can see beautiful animals made of gold. Thank you so much. Oops, I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Yes, this is the way you tell me, right, Anna? Yes, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, let me know if I did a mistake on this one. Okay, because sometimes I do a mistake. Okay, uh, Jacqueline, the next one is for you. Thank you. Sure. Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, I said uh, should. Should. Okay. What else should I do? Um, yeah, I'm sorry. But I think I, I, this is incorrect because you need to use can, you know. Why can it's cause like the things that you're able to do there in that place? Because then in letter B we have like a bunch of things that we are able to do in this place. So what else can I do there? Next one is for you. Let me see. Janessi, hello, good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. 
Thank you so much, Janessi. Well, you should visit the mission on Monday. It's closed then, but you, you, you can definitely visit the rainforest. It's amazing. Okay. Thank you. Correct me if I'm wrong, you tell me you can't. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, give me a no, minute. No, you, sh you should. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You should. You should visit the museum on Monday. Um, Then we have it closed. But you, can, but you but, can visit. Oh, so this one is positive or negative? Uh, positive. Negative. Oh, it should, should be negative because of the context. Oh, yeah. You should visit the museum. The museum is closed. Exactly. Exactly. So um, it's like not, right? So because it's closed. Okay, it's closed. But you should, okay, you told me you should um, definitely visit the rainforest. It's amazing. Okay. Yes. Uh, I can't decide where to go on vacation. Should I? Go to Costa Rica or Hawaii. Oh, look at how difficult is this decision for this person, right? Yeah, I, I wonder. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, let's give me a match. Okie dokie. Let's have this one. Look at this picture. Mm -hmm. uh, please do me a favor. Let me see. Uh, Juan, please describe the picture. Juan, thank you. Good evening, teacher. Nice to have you. Welcome. Well, I see a man, a photographer, oh, yes. and I see uh, a city. <clears throat> what is he doing? Uh, Um, he, he see some, some, como se dice, um, how, como se dice revista? Oh, magazines? Magazines, um, he see some magazine. Okay, you, you have some magazine in your hand he has right he has yeah very good he and, has and... yeah thank you so much that is correct very good jose i'll see this leva number two is for you because number one is already done we are going to use this information here in this blank space jose i'll see this number two thank you No, okay, Kevin, Eduardo, thank you, number two. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, repeat me, please, teacher. Oh, number two is for you, please. You need to select one of these options that goes here in number two. Oh, okay, Um, you near the airport, two, number two, um, is, you, 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 you can, you can get. Mm, okay, near the airport is too noisy. Okay, something that goes with airport. Mm -hmm. You told me you you shouldn't miss. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't walk. Uh, you shouldn't worry the airport is too noisy. Mm, no, I'm sorry. You shouldn't stay. Oh, you yes. Shouldn't stay. Oh, yes. That, that one fits here. Yeah. Exactly. You shouldn't stay. Okay. You shouldn't stay because it's noisy, right? Very good. What about number three? Anybody? You shouldn't miss. 
Oh, Whoa. very good. Wonderful. Shouldn't miss. Okay, very good. Shouldn't miss. What about the number four? You can take. Oh, very good. You can take. Yes. Number five. Anybody? You shouldn't walk. Oh, yes, right. When we see a bunch of chuchos, right? Yes, what we do? Uh-uh. Stay awake. Stay away from those. Stay away from those. What about the number six? You can go. Oh, perfect. Okay. Thank you. With this weather, with this weather that we have, okay, you should get a cup of coffee, okay, with a big semitalta and enjoy. Thank you so much, people, for being here. See you tomorrow. Take yeah. care. Yeah. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank, Thank you so much. Good night. Good night.